You've probably seen rocket launchers, like this one, being used to get things off the ground. But once you get to space, how do you get around? If you want to get to your destination efficiently, you should use a plasma rocket. Plasma rockets, or ion thrusters, are what researchers at the Surrey Space Centre spend their time inventing, building and testing. But what is a plasma rocket and how do they work? Let's first find out what a plasma is. Let's start with a simple box of gas. Normally, the gas atoms are electrically neutral as each atom contains equal numbers of positive protons and negative electrons. But these electrons can be knocked off the atoms if we heat the gas up or bombard them with other electrons. The process is called ionization and it leaves behind a positively charged ion and a negatively charged free electron. Often, the ion and electron join back together because their charges attract each other. This is known as recombination, and when it happens, light is released, and we are left with a neutral atom. When the rate of ionization and recombination are balanced, we have created a plasma. And now we can make a plasma rocket. Because the ions of the plasma are charged, we can use electric fields to move them around. If we put two grids in the plasma and keep one neutral while the other is made electrically negative, we create an electric field between the grids. Ions that are in this electric field will be accelerated to an extremely high speed, creating an ion beam. To make our plasma rocket complete, we just need to make the ions in our beam neutral again. We do this by spraying electrons at the iron beam, causing them to recombine and become neutral atoms. This super high energy neutral beam of atoms forms the exhaust of our plasma rocket, and it is a very efficient method of creating thrust in space, as we will explore in the next part of the video. The plasma rockets researched at the University of Surrey and their collaborators are a new method to propel satellites in space, pushing spacecraft to explore further into the solar system. But compared to traditional rockets, the force from a plasma rocket is tiny, the same force as a coin on your hand. So how can plasma rockets propel spacecraft so far? Why not use a traditional chemical rocket? A plasma rocket uses up its fuel very slowly, changing the gas fuel into blue plasma. But with the very fast speed of the plasma leaving the rocket, it is very efficient. A chemical rocket burns its fuel, using up fuel much faster, but the burnt products leaving the rocket are slower, meaning it is less efficient. So how do chemical and plasma rockets compare? Well. Imagine a race between a tortoise and a hare. The tortoise is slow, but keeps on going. The hare is fast, but gets tired. And we all know who wins. A chemical rocket is like the hare, whilst the plasma rocket is like the tortoise. The chemical rocket, with its greater force, accelerates faster but runs out of fuel. The spacecraft with a plasma rocket, burning less fuel but more efficiently, accelerates at a slower rate but keeps on going. So if you want to get somewhere nearby in a hurry, a chemical rocket is a good option, but if you want to go further, plasma rockets are the way forward. <laughs>